So the first symptom of religious disease is this. There is no depth. Let me go ahead and get my little illustration here for you. Me and Jesus, we have something in common. We both killed a tree. So this is actually a plant, a little bit different. It's a church plant. But um, this, there's no depth here, right? This is what happens when disease sets in, is that eventually it kills the tree. And one of the symptoms is there is no depth. So for us, what this means is the roots can't go down and it can't get the nutrients that it needs to flourish in life because there is no depth. And so you might know that you have this in your life when you want to keep everything surface level. Don't let anybody get close to you. Don't let anybody get to know you. Don't let anybody get to see the real you, not the you you pretend to be or the facade that you show others, but don't let anyone get close enough to see the true you, the real you. And so you got to keep everything surface level. Don't join a serve team because then you're going to have some responsibility and you don't have the depth to be able to hold on to that responsibility. Don't, don't become a member of a church because then you have to submit under spiritual authority and then other people are going to be involved in your life. You can't handle that because there's no depth in your life. You say one thing, you do another thing, and you have all the platitudes and answers, but there is no depth to you because there's a spiritual disease. Or maybe you join a small group, but you don't give them the real answers. No, you give them the right answers because every religious person knows there's a difference between being right and being real, amen? Because you can be right you can exegete the text and you can quote all the dead theologians and you can talk about how much the, the meaning of marriage is that a man would love a woman the same way Jesus loves a church, but your wife can't stand you. Everybody knows the real answers versus the right answers. Difference. So you can join a small group, but keep it really, really surface level. Say the right things. Because when people get to know you, then all of a sudden they're gonna see the true you. Don't raise your hand, come forward for prayer. Do not do that. Because if you come forward for prayer, no matter how hard the sermon hit, people might think you have a problem. And you come forward for prayer. Oh no, you can't do that. Then you might have a problem. Don't do that because there is no true depth. The, the second thing is this, there is no growth. Listen, it doesn't matter how many times or how often I water this plant, it ain't working. There is no growth. That there could be water, there could be nutrients, there could be sunlight, there could be shade, but it doesn't matter what's going to happen because when the disease has set in, nothing's going to be able to produce the growth. This is what religious people do all the time. They say, I'm not growing. I want to grow. I need to grow. I want to grow. I'm just not being fed. Look around you. Other people are growing. If you're not growing, can I just say that's your fault, nobody else's? Because I've seen grass grow on concrete. If you're not growing, that's not anybody's fault but your own. Look around the room. They're growing. Look, they just gave their lives to Jesus. They just got baptized. They just signed up to start tithing for the first time. God's doing a miracle in their marriage. We had a person who came forward, you know, earlier this week, and as they're praying, God's delivering them from drug addiction. Other people, God is working and moving in their lives. If they're growing, why aren't you growing? Maybe the problem's not with them. Maybe the problem's with you. Say, so worship just didn't do it for me today. Really? Because I didn't think we worshiped you. I thought we worshiped the Lord. I didn't think worship was for you. I thought it was for him. Okay, yeah. So um, maybe the problem is not with worship team. Maybe the problem is with you. You have no depth and you have no growth. If the word isn't ministering to your soul, the problem is not with the word because God's word doesn't return without void. And if the Bible's opened, then God's word's being preached. There's an opportunity for growth. But if you walk out these doors the same way that you came in here, maybe the problem's not with the church. Maybe the problem's not with your small group. Maybe the problem's with you. You have no depth. You have no growth. And religious people love to blame other people for their problems. Which leads to the final point. There is no change. I can take this plant and I can uproot it and I can move it, and I can plant it somewhere else. Here you go. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you know what? Even if I move this plant somewhere else and surround it with other healthy plants, it's still not going to grow. Because eventually, you're going to reach to a point to where you are unable to respond to healthy environments. 
In fact, if I replant this and the disease is so crept in, it's gonna begin to affect the other trees around it because it's reached a point to where it's no longer able to respond to the nutrients, to the nourishment, to the sunlight, or even to the other trees that are around it. It just spreads the disease even further. This is why when you get around people who are healthy, you get angry. This is why when you get around people who God's working in their life, you get jealous of them. This is why when other people are experiencing freedom, you begin to excuse and say they're shallow or they're theologically inaccurate or I'm just not having the maturity level that other people... Okay, you're just making religious excuses for your own rebellion and disobedience. You reach a point to where you become angry and bitter at other people for God working in their life as well. It's a very dangerous place for us to be because the roots in our lives have withered away. We are no longer producing the fruit that God wants to do in our life.